guys, Mike here, and in today's video, we're going to look at a product that's fairly new to the market. This is the KAK Industry Carbine Buffer Configurable Kit. This kit comes with the carbine body, the internal bumpers, roll pins, two rear bumper pads, and then it has three tungsten weights, three aluminum weights, and three standard steel weights. So what's the point of having a kit like this? Well, if you need a buffer that's either heavier or lighter than a standard carbine buffer, then this allows you to adjust in increments the weight of your buffer system to fine tune the buffer to the rifle. So first, let's talk about why you would want to make a buffer heavier. Most factory AR-15s are overgassed from the factory, and adding a heavy buffer to this system will both soften recoil and increase reliability. The readily available heavier carbine buffers are labeled H, H2, and H3. The standard carbine buffer weighs 3.0 ounces. The H buffer is 3.8, the H2, 4.7, and the H3 is 5.6. These different weights are obtained by replacing one of the standard steel buffer weights with a tungsten buffer weight. And the number of the H depends on how many of those weights are tungsten. Now these weights vary just a little bit because there are different alloys of tungsten and the more expensive tungsten is a little denser. So you will see fractions of ounces difference between the advertised weights of these heavier buffers. And just in very round figures, the standard carbine buffer is going to cost maybe around 12 bucks, give or take a few bucks. The H buffer is going to cost about $25. The H2, about $30. And the H3, about $40. And there again, this is within a range of $5 either way in most of these heavier buffers. It depends on the brand name, and it also depends on which tungsten alloy is used. Let's take a closer look at the kit. Now this kit, everything that you see here, sells for about $47. And the kit has a black buffer body. It has four of the little internal rubber bumpers that go between the weights. Two of the roll pins that will hold the rubber bumpers on the back. And you have two rubber bumpers, so you have an extra and they're different colors. Then you have the three tungsten buffer weights, the three aluminum buffer weights, and the three standard steel buffer weights. Now, I can tell you that I have spent hours searching the internet for these little babies. I figured that I could find some tungsten weights and save a little money and modify my standard carbine buffers that are in some rifles that I bought from the factory. And then I could get the effect of having the H1 buffer with a softer cycling and more reliability without having to spend the price difference between a standard and an H buffer. But what I found is that these things are very difficult to find on the market. And the only place that I saw that sold the tungsten buffers um, was slash at heavybuffers.com. And unfortunately... The price for these was about $16.50 each, and so financially it just didn't make sense to do that. But, now when you look at this kit, there again, you can go up in weight with these, or down in weight with the aluminum, and you can have a variety of combinations. And you can see that there's basically eight different incremental weights that are on this chart that uh, by switching the aluminum, the steel, and the tungsten buffers in different combinations, you can come up with a incrementally increasing or decreasing buffer weight to fine tune your rifle. Um, and so that's a pretty significant advantage. These individual tungsten weights are 1.5 ounces each. And that's the military standard. That's the weight that was being sold by slash at heavybuffers.com for $16.50 each. So if you do the math, just these three buffers 
may well cost you more than the price of this entire kit. And if you're looking for a lighter buffer and you have other rifles from the factory that you'd like to upgrade with an H buffer, you can take and upgrade three different standard carbine buffers by adding one of these, replacing the steel weight with one of these, and essentially have three heavy buffers and still have the rest of this kit with spare parts and the lightweight kit to fine tune a rifle for a lightweight application. Now the aluminum buffer weights, we'll check that, they weigh only 0.2 ounces and a standard steel buffer weight weighs 0.6 ounces. So with this kit, at less than the price of just these three tungsten weights, you get the three tungsten weights, the three steel weights, and the lightweight, three aluminum weights, the buffer body, two extra bumpers, four internal pads, and two roll pins. So now let's talk about why you would want a carbine buffer lighter than the standard carbine buffer. Number one, a lot of guys are doing very lightweight builds and you try to trim weight everywhere you can and you can trim some weight in a tuned rifle by trimming the weight in the buffer system as well as the bolt carrier. The second use would be in guys who are shooting competition who want to finally tune their gun and they want to have the very softest recoil possible so they can stay on target with rapid shots. And also if you're very sensitive to recoil and you simply just want to soften up the recoil as much as possible, then a light buffer is part of that system, along with an adjustable gas block and maybe even changing the power of your recoil spring. I think TACCOM makes a lightweight buffer and I believe it weighs about an ounce. It's made out of some kind of polymer or plastic, but it is a fixed weight also, and this system will allow you to adjust the weights in the lightweight range. Now, the TACCOM system weighs, I think, 1.1 ounce, best I can tell from the internet. The lightest you can get with this system is 1.7 ounces, but it does allow you the flexibility of adjusting the weights in small increments. And the third possible use for this system is a very specific use and that is trying to fine tune this new Franklin Armory binary firing system trigger. Now they recommend using high powered springs and lightweight bolt carriers to try to make this trigger more reliable. And I found that certainly those things are what you need to do to fine tune a system. But in most piston systems, you're stuck with the bolt carrier that comes with that system and you can't decrease the weight of the bolt carrier. So I thought with some of these piston uppers, I could fine tune and decrease the reciprocating weight in the piston system by addressing the weight of the buffer itself, since I can't change the weight of the bolt carrier group. And we're gonna take this kit out with the binary fire system and see if this has a role in that application. I'm gonna use both a empty buffer body with the bumper attached and the aluminum reciprocating weights and see if we can increase the reliability of that binary firing system. So in summary, there are several applications, both on the heavy side and the light side of buffer weights that this kit will help you address. And in fact, you may be able to use this kit on several buffers that you already own. Remember, just for the tungsten weights alone, you pretty much pay for this kit. What I'm probably going to be doing with this kit is using these individual tungsten buffers in some of my other standard AR-15s to help soften the recoil and increase the reliability. And then I'm going to take the lightweight side of this kit and we're going to work with this binary firing system. But another obvious use for the lightweight system is if you are doing a lightweight build or if you're trying to fine tune the recoil system and make a very soft shooting gun. I hope you found the information interesting and useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please post those and I'll try to respond to those in a timely fashion. Stay tuned and you'll see this kit out in the field. We'll use the lightweight side of this kit to try to fine tune some uppers that are having difficulty with the Franklin Armory binary fire system. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.